Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, as always, behind me is uh, a new car to the channel. This is a 1993 Nissan 240SX convertible. So I've actually had this car for a few years. It's been sitting outside uncovered. It's extremely gross, but honestly, when I look at it, all I can see is potential and I have enough spare parts from the race car and from spare shell that I should be able to get this up and running with little to no expense. So other than time, money, a little TLC, I am completely excited. I'll kind of put some B-roll right here. And as you're watching this B-roll, the car is in pretty rough shape just from it sitting. It's been deteriorating, obviously, in the Texas sun and in rain, stuff like that. But the rust is really not that bad. It is something definitely that has potential. Uh, the car has cruise control. It has, obviously, the, the top, the hydraulic top that I would like to get working. What came with the car um, is actually the stock engine. Uh, that was with that I've had in my race car so that engine transmission all that is going to be put into here because we'll be rebuilding the turbo motor so that is the power plant I said in the last or previous video about a surprise of what it's going in it's actually going to be going in this car so I hope to get the cruise control working I have a new top to put on it that came with it as well and all in all there's a lot here um i'm going to start off making it manual since i have all the stuff i would kind of in the future eh, like to make it automatic i think for highway cruise control all of that that would be fun um i don't know hopefully leave it in the comments if you do know about the cruise control um if that works with the manual but as you saw in the b-roll as you saw here it's pretty gross but there's little to no rust which is actually really exciting there's some random little things i'm finding learning about the car um so we are just getting it out uh there was a bunch of stuff in the trunk we got that over here on this table so i'll show you we have oh, actually a lot of these goodies that i didn't know were in there is pieces and rubber to the top which I would believe that they're hard to find. So this stuff looks like it, what's deformed, look like it'll be, could be reformed. Um, some bracing, stuff like that. Um, this is no good anymore, but this is the trunk, um, trunk rubber. Some other rubber, which I think goes somewhere. I don't know if that was supposed to be a replacement for the trunk. And some bracing, automatic shifter. We got some rear bumper lights, stuff like that. All that being said, the main thing that I really wanted was the rubber out of the trunk, other stuff um, in regards to getting this car up and running and functional, I already have. So I have probably enough parts to make two cars. So since the race car is in a slow building process um, and waiting on funds to rebuild the motor and so on and so forth, I thought I would start on this kind of a goal soft goal would be the first of the year to have as a running and driving daily driver so that'll be neat also as a daily daily driver uh i'm gonna do a video with my wife and i we got big news on a new car uh i guess i just gave it away we got a new car so be on the lookout for that video is a huge blessing huge god thing and we are so blessed but all that being said let's get into taking this thing apart i'll probably do a time lapse and then update you along the way so we got the carpet out as you saw and um just a closer look on it uh it actually came out really easy um up here is looking fine, good. Um, I am definitely not used to <laughs> the bracing that is in here. Uh, definitely from coming from a coupe, there's obviously not a lot of bracing. We got some mud daubers hanging out up there. Uh, other than that, for it sitting for as long as it did, it looks great. This floor pan over here is not rusted at all. There's a little bit of surface rust here and there, but for the most part, it's good. The problem 
area is the is the passenger side but it actually doesn't look too bad uh this is scary but it's not scary if you've if you've worked with metal before or anything like that um as we kind of peel it away there's definitely some some rot in in this brace which is just this thin sheet metal here so it's a brace that goes all the way across and then right here so the seat belt um the seat belt i mean not seat belt the seat mount which is here for the most part here is a little bit of surface not nothing ate through and here this is all pretty well it's still sturdy the problem area is in here and in this hole this is really thin and you can kind of move it um so here's the frame rail here obviously you can see so kind of our, our immediate game plan obviously we're going to get into it and look further the floor pan is fine over here it's just this this brace where it's welded up so we'll probably cut this out and uh possibly see how thin it is here and either cut this out and try to match it i don't have a donor piece to go in here so whether we go to a junkyard try to find one or not uh, what we'll probably do is just cut this rust out leave the frame rail and then re-weld a panel back in here we don't ultimately need a hole here for the frame and we don't need this this hole so we'll probably just patch it up but for how long it's set i'm really really pleased with with how it looks in here i mean that if that's our worst uh if that's our like worst spot this wasn't even covered back here and it, it is looking fine which is probably why it's not rusted to be honest with you it was open and was able to evaporate but this side there was water caught in the in the carpet and then it it, it looks great this side obviously is not it's rusted which ultimately could have happened um before it even set out here there could have been a rip in the in the headline or, i mean in the top or something to where it may have been doing that for way longer than it's sitting out here for four four years i think um so yeah other than that it's looking great i think the next step i want to pressure wash this it's really gross and it's kind of nasty the carpet is looking good over here so this is the carpet and um, other than it being dirty and having a bunch of trash in it, it does look savable. So I know there's probably carpet kits, whatever, but when I pressure wash the car, I'm just going to hit this with the pressure washer, see what happens with it. Um, but going on forward, we're going to get try to get this vacuumed out and get the engine bay pressure washed, get in here pressure washed. Um, I may try to do some areas i probably just vacuum it out and then clean it but it's all been wet before so what's the difference um as far as the top goes it looks good i want i would like to take it apart get it blasted that's for another video another day i'm not going to run a back seat i'm going to run a four point in here so probably get this cut out eventually this brace cut out and do a four point to the back but all in all it's looking good i'm really excited this bummed me out and i did that side first and then i came over here and i was super scared what i was gonna find but thankfully it's looking good that is all the time i have for today the inside turned out really clean uh, of course there's some water here i didn't want to get that in the vacuum i'm gonna get that before i leave but the rest of it is looking good um all of the debris this piece over here the rust uh the main spot is kind of daunting when you look at it 
but thankfully this seat mount is still intact so kind of a game plan what we're thinking about doing is cutting this out having a piece of sheet metal broke with a flange on it for this side here and here and then that way we will just cut out the rust and put the panel in and that should be good there's a little bit of rust back here so i'm going to probably end up taking all of the uh sound deadening out seeing where there's rust cut it out replace it um i've never done that before so it should be exciting um definitely will be doing videos on this whole process uh all in all for what it is and for where it came from i am really happy with it i'm glad i finally got to you know share this with y'all and it has a lot of potential so i'm excited definitely am ready to go cruising with it especially since i haven't had something to drive and the cars have been down so thank you for watching this video if you got to this point thank you so much i am so grateful that you're watching if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe for more videos on the race car or on this car um, as we are turning things into i guess daily drivers and race cars 